Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Amaris. Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button on my channel and make sure you do hit the like button on this video as it does help my channel out a lot. Um, the last couple Rainbow Six Siege videos did very well and I kind of want to keep that up. My goal is a thousand subscribers. But um, yeah, as you can tell from the title of this video, it's um, top five defenders, top five, yeah, top five defending operators in year four. Um, so yeah, this is my list of like uh, operators from defending that are going to be the best throughout the entire year four that are probably the most overpowered operators. And if you use these operators, you will become better at the game. But um, before I get on with the video, I'd like to say disclaimer, the video clips that you do see in like when i'm talking about the operator and stuff like that the video clips are from a youtuber named narcoleptic nugget um a rainbow six siege player and youtuber content creator that um did a thousand hours of experience with all types of different operators so i got video clips from like those the best clips that i like from them and i uh, used that in my video today because last video um i i just did like operator videos and i don't think people like that that much so but yeah that's just a little disclaimer I love narcoleptic nugget but um yeah so these are the top five defending operators in my opinion and if you have a different opinion please fuck off and click off the video all right let's get on with the video and i forgot to say that um mira nor echo will be in this list at all because most of the times in rank they're always banned even though those are two overpowered operators for defending if you can always get mira or echo please pick them they're amazing operators but most of the time they're banned in rank so yeah that's just a little disclaimer now the number one operator on this list is going to have to be Legion. Um, now why no Legion is at number one is because his primary weapon, his loadout is amazing. The TS SMG, it's honestly the best, probably one of the best submachine guns in the game. His gadget is amazing for slowing down rushes like Ash and um, other people that like to rush the thing hard. And the great thing about his things is you always get a notification about when someone hits your goo mine. So you always know whenever you someone hits a goo mine, you always get intel on where someone is on the map. So um, yeah, that's what. And also another thing is he has impact grenades, so he's good for making um, rotation holes. And he's always someone that you would want to have on your team no matter what situation. So that is why he is number one on the list for top five defenders. Now the second operator on this list is going to have to be Jaeger. He's an OG operator. His gadget is amazing to have. The ADSs, they allow you to, um, you have three of them. And they allow you to, if everyone, if anyone does a flashbang the, or fuse, anything that is projectiled into the objective, he, those ADSs will stop it. So it's amazing to have, not to get flashed or whatever. Um, amazing loadout. His carbine's one of, another one of the great overpowered guns. Um, he's a good roamer. He's probably one of the main roamers in the game. Most people roam with he just they always just put down their their gadgets and the reinforcements and then they go roam because he's a three speed. Um, even without his ACOG on his carbine, which most everyone probably misses in Rainbow Six Siege, he's still a very overpowered operator in the game, and that is why he is um, number two on this list. And he has, also has um, and he also has a deployable shield, which is good for um, the bomb and stuff like that. Or he also has the barbed wire which can be put down to know where enemies are coming from if they start hitting it or going through now the third person on this list there's not really much to say and there's not really much clips to say about him but there it has to be doc the reason why i chose doc instead of rook is because doc is more of a high higher up there um operator like higher up in the ranks pick than rook because if you, have, if you have a good doc and if you have a good rook you're more likely going to go with the good doc because healing is way more um Healing is way more needed than just an armor plate will. Why he's ranked 3 on the game is because he has amazing loadout, he has an amazing primary weapon, the MP5, or he has a, the other amazing weapon with another ACOG with the P90. And um, yeah, like I was saying, his healing ability, either you could heal yourself or you could heal other teammates if they're low, or you can either heal someone when they're down, you just shoot one of the things at them while they need to be revived and it puts them back up. Um, and yeah, he's also amazing for spawn peeking, but yeah, that's Doc right there, and there's not really much clips to say, so yeah. 
Now the fourth person on this list is have to be Valkyrie. Um, the reason I chose Valkyrie was because she has an amazing primary weapon. Her MPX is honestly another great, great submachine gun that I personally love. It's one of my favorite guns in the game. Um, another great thing about her is why she has a nitro cell with with the mix of the cameras that she has. That's awesome. That's honestly an overpowered um, thing to have on a single operator. Um, yeah, the cameras are very good for intel. You can place, you can throw, you have three cameras you can throw anywhere on the map. Um, you can probably look up spots on each map where pro players use them or stuff like that. But um, yeah, the cameras are great for intel and call out. So, and why she's number four on this list for defending is because intel is everything in this game. And if you don't have intel and if you don't know where they are, you're most likely known to lose. And if you don't have call outs, you're most likely going to lose the round or most likely the game. Now, number five on this list is Bandit. Now, most people don't really like Bandit on list or whatever like that, but Bandit is so underrated. His his the reason you can be so underrated is because the Bandit trapping is mostly on every map. You can Bandit trap um, Thermite or Habana. You can just Bandit trap them. Which, if you don't know how to Bandit trap, you can look it up. It's very easy. Now he has he also has an amazing MP7. That's one of the best submachine guns in the game. Now I say it one of the best submachine guns for every single operator, but every single top five operator has an amazing submachine gun, hence why they are on the top five defending list. But um he also Bandit also has a nitro cell, so you can use that also if you need to, if they're if you have like a rotation around a reinforcement, uh, and if you know they're about to blow it up or whatever. And He's also number five on this list because Bandit is always something, always someone you want to have on your team no matter another situation. No matter what the situation.